Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Abby and I'm a Chicago blogger. Definitely hit that subscribe and like button if you enjoy this video. I'm gonna be sharing my H&M try on haul with you. I'm gonna give you everything you need to make the best purchasing decision when shopping on H&M. Let's get started. When I got my haul, I did not realize that I only ordered one dress. Um, but most of the dresses I found on there were just super floral, not my style at all. Um, this one, I really like. The pleats at the bottom, it's a wrap skirt. I feel like it's really light, perfect and airy for summer and spring. So you can wear it for work or really anything. I really liked it a lot. I have a few blazers that I ordered. One is tan. They're both different styles, but one is tan. And it was oversized, but also a little fitted. So you could definitely wear this with pants and a top. I wouldn't wear it as a dress um, or belt it as a dress. It's just a little too short for that. On the other hand, this blue blazer is a really long, very oversized. You can definitely belt it. Um, maybe you wanna wear a mini skirt underneath just because it is a little bit short, but it works great and I think it's really um, so this sweater is a new, it was a new arrival, and I thought it was going to be much lighter. It's really heavy. I don't know if I would wear this in the spring. I think it's more of a winter find. I, I like it. I just, it's not ideal for, for spring. So the color is great. The material is great. I think it's really good quality, but just not a great spring find. Up next, I got this top in two different colors. Um, in white and in green and what I love about these tie tops is that you can wear them with a tie in the front or in the back um, I like this however I would have ordered a size up I ordered a small I would definitely do a medium only because the sleeves were pretty tight and then the shoulders were tight as well and I don't know if that's because of my bust size or if it's just sewn that way so if you like a tighter fit definitely order your size if you want more of an oversized relaxed fit order up and the same thing with the green they're both the same thing just different colors I love this top it's super soft it's really light and flowy the flare sleeves given added spice um, yeah it's super cute the neutrals I'm always a sucker for the neutrals so this is definitely one of my favorite pieces from this haul this is a really cute basic um, I don't know if I'd say I love it, but I don't hate it either. It's got the ruffle hem on the edge and the button details. It's oversized, so it's not tight fitting, um, but it's cute and it's a nice basic to have just to throw something on with a pair of jeans or leggings. It's cute. No surprise that I love this top. It's brown, neutral. I feel like I'm always going to love a good neutral. Um, but I like the neckline a lot. It was more of like a sweetheart top tank top and perfect for spring, summer. I just, I mean, it's an easy basic, a neutral, I love. I ordered this on a whim just because, as I said, I'm more of a neutral gal, but I'm trying to mix in more colors and textures and patterns, just trying to get with the spring trends. So I ordered this, I love the puff sleeve and then the cinch down the center and um, on the back it's that like rouged fabric so it really sucks you in in all the right places, it's super flattering on and just very flirty and fun, I liked it a lot. Last for the tops, I actually forgot to film the try on portion of this but I did shoot part of this for a reel so I will leave that up, it's a little bit different than my normal try on. Um, but it's super cute on, really flattering. I love this like hook clasp. It's definitely different. It's kind of like the back of a bra. I don't know, like a, an eye and a hook, whatever you would call that. Um, but it's super flattering. The only con or bad side I would say, it is pretty warm. Um, when I shot in this, it was just very, very warm. So, something to consider if you know you live in a warm climate and it's 90 degrees out every single day I don't know if I would recommend this um, just for that reason but it is super cute so definitely something to consider
moving on to bottoms, um, these khaki shorts. Um, they are a little snug in the waist, so if you're in between sizes, I would definitely size up. But I thought they were super cute and they have pockets. Um, though I did notice that they will get really wrinkly if you're sitting down for long periods of time, so that's something to take into consideration. But I love these. They're so cute, light and airy great for spring and for the transitioning into summer. I wanted to really love these jeans, however, they just did not fit me right. This is a larger size than I normally wear. This is a size six and I normally wear a size four in H&M and they fit my hips and my butt, but they didn't fit my waist, so it was really gapping. If you have a smaller booty, this might work well for you, um, but for me, it just didn't fit. So. I don't know, just, it looked really cute on the website, but it just didn't work out. I think the fit is kind of strange. And then it's super short and I'm 5'5", so it's already, I'm already short. So definitely something something to consider. Um, yeah, the fit was just weird. These by far are my favorite jeans from this haul. They were super comfy. They like sucked me in in all the right places and they were long enough, they weren't too long, they didn't gap, they hugged my hips, like I said, hugged me in in all the right places. I absolutely love it. And at first I thought that the holes would be kind of overbearing, but they're really not. Um, it's a lighter denim. I think there is a little bit of a stretch, but not much. This one runs true to size and I'm keeping these. I love them. They're just perfect. This is the perfect straight leg denim. It's soft, it's a little bit stretchy, and it's super affordable. I think these were under $20. So perfect if you're on a budget, and the wash is just so cute. I like them a lot. They're not the skinny jean, though they are slimmer at the ankle. So yeah, I like these a lot. I think these were a really good find and a steal for the price. These jeans say that they're straight, but they're a little bit more flared. Um, and then they also had the same, I don't know if I'd say issue, but they had the same issue as the tan pants where they were really short. They felt more like high waters. Um, the top did fit better though. It just kind of depends on the look you're going for. And these were $35, so again, a bargain. Um, they weren't my favorite just because they were too short. But other than that, I think they were a really good deal. This black denim is more of a loose fit and that's what it was designed for. I personally like my hips and my tummy to be sucked in and then have the leg be a little bit looser. This is an overall, all around looser fit. Um, again, it's just about what you're looking for. For me, this isn't my style. This isn't what I look for, but it still fits really well and it is true to size. So definitely check these out if you're looking for a looser black denim. If you didn't already know, Zebra is going to be really big this year. Um, it's all over everything, tops, pants, dresses, everywhere. Um, so I really wanted to love these. I ordered these thinking that I could potentially wear them to work if they were formal enough, as well as wear them out and about. And they also kind of look like pajama pants, but I tried them on and they just gap so much around my stomach and then they're tight across my butt and so it makes the pockets pull it just bunches even more the price was right they looked really cute on the website but they just didn't fit right so if you have a little bit thicker thighs or a little bit of a booty i don't know if i would recommend this definitely try it out if you have slimmer thighs and butt because they might fit great but for me they just didn't work i'm still going to be on the lookout for pants like this though because i love this look but these just did not work. I have been looking for cargo pants. I know this sounds ridiculous and my dad would be so proud, um, but I'm looking for cargo pants because the, if you style them correctly, they can be super fashionable. And so I found these, again, wanted to love them, but they are just too high-waisted for my liking. I like when my high-waist pants, I like for that to sit right here and they kind of sat like right around here. So it was just a little bit too high for me and it almost like made my butt crack look long. I know that's so weird, but I swear it's a thing. And I just wasn't in love. If you like the higher waist, 
by all means go for it i think they look really cute if you like that look if you like that feel i was just uncomfortable because my natural waist is here and i didn't like it hitting here so the color is super cute it's pretty affordable i'm gonna be on the lookout for something just like this just a little bit lower waisted lastly for pants um, these flare leggings with the split at the end I think that they are too long unfortunately if you're tall you are gonna rock these if you're short I'm 5'5 five five and they are like four inches too long and when I wear leggings I don't necessarily wear like, wear heels with them um, so they're about four or five inches too long so five nine girls and up you're gonna love these for me I just I didn't um, they do run true to size however the waist I like all of my leggings to be really tight and kind of suck me in these didn't necessarily do that they fit they're comfy but I think that they fit more like sweatpants than a legging so again if you're short I would advise against getting these if you're tall get them um, I'm gonna be looking out for split hum pants so that I can get this look but these just aren't gonna cut it to my favorite section of this haul the comfy section these shorts are just perfect I really can't describe them any other way they're not too short I've ordered shorts before and they just kind of like ride up my butt and I don't like that for obvious reasons um, but these were perfect they have pockets they're thick they're so soft and comfy the color is ideal I believe they come in more colors on the website and they're just I just love them. H&M came out with a bunch of sweatshirts, especially in this color. I love this green color. I didn't realize how much of this color I actually ordered until I got everything in. Um, but this also comes in, I believe, a brown and a tan. Don't quote me on that. I know it does come in different colors, but they're all kind of neutral and greens. So it's super cute. And um, has a really nice quote on it so I like it next up is this knit set I thought it was adorable it is a little bit oversized so order true to size because it's already oversized if you want it a little bit more snug then order down but I thought it was super cute and the color is just perfect it's that same green color but I liked it a lot I think you could dress it up with some sneakers and make it kind of a streetwear or it could be a comfy lounge set for around the house. So either way, I think it's really cute. Okay, for this next piece, I ordered it kind of as a joke just because I thought it looked ridiculous on the website and I saw it in store when I was shopping with some friends and of course dressing rooms are closed right now, but I ordered it and I tried it on and I cannot believe it's actually really cute. So the only con in my opinion is that there are no pockets. That would make this dress a game changer. I love that it has the cinch. I think it would be really cute with some chunky white sneakers. Perfect. I really like it. It's definitely a keeper. I don't know. It's definitely not the most fashion forward, but it's comfy. It's cute. You can dress it up. You can dress it down. Obviously it's a sweater, but I thought it was really cute. My last set of today is this green set. These leggings are so, so soft, really comfy, that green color again. And I think that they will hold up on the run test, meaning they'll stay up when I'm running. They are snug, they hold me in all the right places, but they're not too tight and suffocating. And they're also long, but they're not bunching at my ankle. Um, so for all my tall girls, I think that they will be long enough. For my shorties, they're short enough like great in between so I really like it and then the top that goes with it I love that it's a razor back it's super soft again same material the only thing is is it's not an actual sports bra so if you're gonna be running or doing any kind of actual physical activity this is gonna do nothing for you um, just something to keep in mind the leggings on the other hand perfect workout this not so much um, so it's gonna be more of a lounging top if 
but they're both super affordable and really cute. So definitely recommend this for the haul. My last portion of today's haul is accessories. I've never done accessories before, just haven't. So it's just kind of exciting to do something a little bit new in these hauls. Um, anyways, let's get right into it. Um, this wicker bag with like the leather detail, so, so cute. And the strap is not adjustable, but it does hit perfectly like right on the hip. I think it's really cute and it's affordable. It's great for summer. So my next bag is a designer look like it's not a dupe for the Bottega, but it is a look like just because of the padding. Um, this one is adjustable but it also hits at such a great height. Um, really cute and yeah, like I said, it's a look like, not a dupe, just because it's not identical. It's not the woven, it's more of a quilted, but it is really, really cute and you get the same kind of style. I also got these shoes. I think that the straps are super cute. They're stretchy and kind of puffy. They're also really comfortable. So I'm not saying you're gonna walk miles in these, but they're definitely comfortable for a night out. The heel is really fun and interesting too. It's more of a block heel, but it's a thin block heel. So I thought these were cute and perfect for this warmer weather we're having. The last item for today is this hat. And honestly, I don't know what I was thinking when I ordered it because I ordered a small. And I feel like if you have an average size head, you should probably order a medium. And I just wasn't thinking and I just ordered my normal size. So it is a little small, so I'm gonna have to return it for that reason. But otherwise, it's so, so cute. It's gonna be perfect with a bunch of cool outfits. I like it a lot. Again, the price point is perfect. And it's just, it's really cute. If I ordered the right size, I would have kept it. So I don't know exactly how to measure your head, but definitely look at the sizing chart before you place your order. Um, yeah, it arrived in one piece. There's no dents or weird divots. It looks really great. It's a nice felt hat. So I recommend this as well. All right, guys, that's it for this haul. If you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe. I look forward to shooting more hauls for you in the future, and I will leave everything in the description box below. Bye.